I believe in truth. But I'm also a big fan of justice. Yes, it's funny. So Dude, we gotta talk about this. Hey, what is up, YouTube? Movie news has been dropping so, so much. And today we'll be covering stuff like... More rumors of Henry Cavill in Loki Season 2 as the character Hyperion. We got some more news about Ben Affleck in Aquaman 2. And even a title change for the project that I mentioned in the last video, The Dark Apprentice. And we'll be covering all of that, so let's get right into this video and waste no more time. So let's talk about Henry Cavill first. There have been multiple rumors stating that he has gone back to... I don't know where it was, it was probably like LA or something like that, but my mom has found out that the rumors state that he has gone to be fitted for a new suit. Now, a lot of people can say that this is probably for Black Adam or something like that, because rumors have stated that he's going to be fitted with a new, brighter Superman suit. So where the heck am I going to get a new you suit? You can't, it's impossible! <laughs> So, if these rumors are not true, somehow, which I doubt they are, but seriously, he could be fitted for who knows how many suits. And I think that one of the suits could possibly be for the big dog himself, Hyperion. I'm sorry about the shot, but just, uh, uh, this is the best one I could get so far. And, uh, anyway, I mean, seriously, Hyperion in Loki Season 2, I mean... How awesome would that be? And the fact that Henry Cavill is going for a new suit? I mean, this is an entirely new suit. As you can see, red, gold, the Adam symbol, absolutely looking nothing like the classic Superman suit with the big S and the blue, the red, the yellow, all that stuff. And numerous reports have stated that Hyperion, as Henry Cavill, is going to be in Loki Season 2. I mean, this is just awesome. I did another video about the Squadron Supreme and Doctor Doom, but uh, let's just stick with this so far because we have a lot more to break down. So piece of information number two is that Ben Affleck is becoming more and more huge in the role of Aquaman 2. I mean, it's not just the fact that he's going to, you know, like cameo in the film. Reports have been stated that he is going to be a huge supporting character in Aquaman 2. I mean, this is all just awesome! Because we can finally get to see Ben Affleck back. I mean, sorry Michael Keaton, but I mean, <laughs> this is all just awesome. And I am going to love to see Batman back. And the Aquaman movie won was funny and i know that um the girl amber ruined aquaman one for some people but confirmation and rumors are about that um she's getting replaced so i mean the character will still be around but the rumors so far have stated that she will be replaced by uh another actress i think she was like from game of thrones or something like that yeah amelia clark is going to be the new, um, whatever this character's name was. I forget. Who knows? Merida, that was it, right? Duh. I mean, uh, I'm sorry about that. But on top of Batman coming back, we could have possibly Hyperion and Loki fight? I mean, this is just insane. Now, how this could be done, in the Assemble series, um, Hyperion was dealt with because his powers draw from the sun. And such a case could be similar here, because in the Assemble series, Captain America stole the, uh, the Spectrum from Doctor Spectrum and literally turned the sun blue because Hyperion's powers ran on a yellow sun. Well, Loki could simply just take Hyperion to a world that does not have a sun. Perhaps Jotunheim as a suggestion? And, ouch. I mean, that's going to have some huge, huge feels for Loki, especially due to the fact that he hates Jotunheim, and that basically, I mean, 
I wouldn't blame him for hating it. I mean, that's the world that he was rejected from. I mean, even by his own father. I mean, that's just insane. No offense, Luffy, but you're a terrible father. And the last news is about the change of title of The Dark Apprentice. It has been retitled The Acolyte. And it has also been... And this is all coming from Mikey Sutton. Now, he is so reliable. I mean, he's done all those Spider-Man rumors. He's unleashed this Ben Affleck rumor that's been going about. And now he's saying that this movie will be diving a hundred years back into the past. That's further than any Star Wars project that we've ever gotten. And it's going to be about the one, the only, mentioned in Episode 3, Darth Plagueis. Now, I just have to say, the way that uh, images portray him, he kind of looks like Scipio, those people from the uh, the banking planet. Um, I know, again, the image is just, I, I really tried my best. But that also means we'll get the story of Plagueis trying to bring people back from the dead and trying to keep people alive and stuff like that. And we'll get a younger version of of the Thunderfingers himself, Darth Sidious. Now, in Episode 3, it was explained that Darth Sidious basically killed Darth Plagueis. Why? Because he was the one who is most likely Darth Plagueis' apprentice, and he was the only one who knew the story of how Plagueis died. Because, first off, he said, I believe that it was like an ancient Sith story, and, well, I mean, in episode 9, he uh, explained that he was basically all the Sith. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, we're finally getting a uh, story about Darth Plagueis and a younger adaptation of Darth Sidious. I could also do a fan cast for, like, a, um, a younger version of Darth Sidious, but a... Uh, I would probably save that for another video if I wanted to. B, the character of Darth Sidious sucks to me. So, uh, that's basically it. Make sure to like this video, share with your friends, comment down below what your favorite movie is from the Cinematic 7 and who your favorite characters are or character. So you can enter that giveaway for three comic book posters on September 30th. All you have to do is subscribe, comment down below what I just said. And um, I'm also still looking for a uh, any more recommendations for the Dragon Man subscriber channel family name. And, uh, I mean, so far, I believe the only one that has popped up is Dragon Clan. If you guys like that, leave it alone. If you don't, keep throwing more suggestions at me. So, anyway, that's pretty much the end of the video. Respect for all you guys out there. And, um, I almost forgot to mention, I know there's a lot of Loki variants out there. And uh, let's just say, when it comes to, you know, like, the MCU and Marvel and everything, one Loki is enough. And, uh, peace out. As in the original Loki, I almost forgot to mention that. The, the original Loki is basically all that we need. And, uh, but, I mean, hey, all those variants are very cool. And, hey, I know Tom Hiddleston will always be the original Loki. That was just what I was trying to say. And Tom Hiddleston basically just... Take the entire screen every time there is a Loki project out there. That's basically what I'm trying to say. So, uh, Loki was cool. Yeah, I mean, hey, but uh, but but I'm pretty sure Tom Hiddleston's the the favorite. So thanks, Ma.